This is Vicki Romain, the chair for Greetings. And today I'm going to show you something I had seen uh, Yvette West do. Um, I thought I would try it out and see how it worked. And uh, I love the results that I got. Here are some napkins that I did. And here is a book, a book, a book page. Uh, if you notice, it, got, it has loads of body, even though it's a fairly old book page. And uh, it has crinkle. You can hear it and uh, you're able to manipulate it without the fear of tearing. My uh, napkins here, uh, if you notice, they're two different shades. The larger one was layered with the face down and the smaller one was layered with the face up. And the smaller one seems to have a more of a transparent appearance than the larger one. And both of them were, um, layered with the backing on the napkin. In other words, I did not take both uh, layers off. Uh, there's still one layer of uh, liner behind the napkin. Now he has another napkin. As you can see, it's almost transparent. And this particular one, I uh, layered on both sides. And I did it both uh, both sides at the same time, which was a little tricky and I will show you how I did it uh, But you could do it one one side at a time and it should come out with the same result With this napkin. I also removed Both liners it had two liners on the back and I removed both of them and that helped to make this napkin more transparent as you can see the it's a lot more transparent than the red one. I will probably take one of these napkins and cut the flower out and, uh, or flowers, depending on which napkin I choose, and uh, put them on a book page. I think uh, that would give a stunning appearance, especially if the book page is, has been layered like I did the napkins. Well, let's put these aside and I'll show you what I did to my uh, napkins and book page and also to uh, some designer paper. Here are some napkins that I haven't tried. So we'll try these. This time I'm going to try to do the entire napkin. The first thing you want to do is uh, take the liner off your napkin. Uh, as I said, um, Yvette left the liner on hers. I prefer to have it more transparent. So uh, many times it's hard to get the liner off. So what you do is take a piece of tape and you need this for a starter. So you just put it on your liner somewhere and pull. And you want to do it fairly easy, but you want to pull that liner away and usually it will tear and that's just to get you started and you take off the first layer. You repeat and do the same thing for the second layer. I decided to cut my napkin into two, two pieces as it is a very large napkin. Actually it's more of a paper towel, uh, something that you would hang up in a gas bathroom. I'm working in a fairly small space, so working with the, the whole napkin is kind of cumbersome. To protect my table, I have a piece of cardboard box underneath my um, protective sheet there to help protect the table. First, I put down the parchment paper. Next goes the wax paper. Then after that, I have some saran wrap. And this is the hardest part of the whole project. You have to get the saran wrap from the roll onto the table or your desktop on top of the wax paper without it all knotting up and curling up on the edges. Now 
Now I'm looking underneath my um, napkin to make sure that the uh, saran wrap is uh, not tangled up uh, as much as it was and that um, it covers the back of the napkin. And sometimes you just give up and get a new piece of saran wrap. And that is what I've done here. I want to get the saran wrap as smooth as possible. It's still going to curl up a little bit on the ends, but at least this piece is doing a lot better than the other one. Now we will put our napkin on top. And it's on top of the saran wrap. Next, I'm going to put the saran wrap on top of the napkin. So the napkin has the saran wrap on both sides of it. I want to make sure the saran wrap uh, covers the napkin, but does not stick out from the parchment paper. Now that my saran wrap is almost uh, straightened enough that it will cover the napkin, I will be putting on a piece of wax paper on top. I made a mistake and put uh, my iron on my napkin on the uh, wax paper instead of putting it on the parchment paper like I should. Uh, the parchment paper should be the layer on top. However, the iron was not very hot, and therefore I didn't get the wax on my uh, iron. When I realized my mistake, I put my parchment paper on, and um, now the iron is nice and hot. So I was able to seal my napkin with a hot iron and the parchment paper was protecting my iron. If you will notice, I'm moving it around so that I can get into the corners and make sure all the areas are sealed. After I uh, do the one side at ironing, I flipped it over and did the other side. Right now what I'm doing is just uh, cutting off the excess um, paper and plastic to get it out of my way. I'm going back over the napkin now that I have all the extra salvage uh, pieces away. And um, that way I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I want to make sure that this is really sealed uh, completely. Now here's my finished piece. As you can see, this is translucent. It, it uh, is very strong. And I can do loads of things with it. I can make a, a pouch very easily by folding the 
the uh, napkin in two. It's uh, smooth and um, don't do like I did and forget to put the parchment paper on. Uh, I just lucked out there that I didn't ruin my iron. Uh, I had a little spot there that looked like it wasn't uh, real smooth, so I um, put a little more heat on it, and it worked out fine. I thought it was really a bubble, and actually it was a the coloring in the napkin itself. And so you can make a pouch very easily with this, a very pretty one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me, and please subscribe. I would love to have some comments if you enjoyed the tutorial or if you did not. In the meantime, have a great crafting day. Bye.